Welcome to another edition of The Breakfast Club. I'm not very happy today. I had to ban three people from my channel. I don't like banning people. And one of the people that I'd banned, uh, we've been interacting for a long time. But when someone insists that Christianity is not a threat in any way to the LGBT community in the United States, um, I don't take to that very well. And they want me to say, Islam, Islam is the biggest threat to the LGBT community. Really? What about all these Republicans in different states that have passed these religious freedom laws that basically make it so religious people can discriminate against uh, gay people, you know, as em employees, customers, and some of, and these Republicans that are pushing this forth want it to be to where uh, hospitals and insurance companies can discriminate based on their religious beliefs. And of course, you know, if, if Muslims want to ever take advantage of that, they'll, they'll disavow the, uh, the uh, they'll, they'll say, well, that's not what this was meant for. It's meant for, for Christians. You know, there was a, a while back, uh, several months ago, I had made a video talking about how I said that, well, the atheist community seems to have drifted towards, um, towards talking about, uh, you know, against SJWs, feminists, and Islam, because, well, we've already said what we needed to say about, about Christianity. And I was wrong. I was wrong. Bionic Dance was right. She had, she had said, well, you know, there's still this stuff going on, and I wasn't looking at it at the time. But I didn't realize how much the whole skeptic atheist community here on YouTube had switched to this idea that, well, Christianity is no longer a threat anymore. I, I didn't know so many, so many people in that community had, 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 started to believe that. You know, Christians still make, they're 70% of the population of the U.S. And a whole bunch of Christian zealots are in office as Republicans. They have power. They have the power to, to create laws, to pass laws. They have power. And I'm supposed to worry about Muslims who have 0.9% of our population in this country? I'm supposed to worry more about them? Look, terrorism, 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 terrorism. Really? In this country, we have, we have a much higher chance of getting hit by lightning than we do uh, being a statistic in a terrorist act. But I'm supposed to worry about that more? I'm supposed to think that that's more of a threat to the LGBT community than Christianity? This election has just fucked people up. I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry, it's really fucked people up. I'm... I, I, I'm just out of words. And earlier today, you know, some people were saying, uh, oh, well, Putin's a great guy. Putin? Yeah, I, 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 I love gay people, but and Putin's a great guy. Uh, those two things kind of clash with each other. You know? Putin passed this, this legislation to make it uh, so gay people have to be in the closet. They can't show any public affection. They can't. They can't let people know they're gay because well, that children might see that. And it's resulted in an, an extreme increase in gay bashings. There, there are even gay people who have been kidnapped and tortured since this legislation went through. 
but Putin's a great guy and Putin isn't anti-gay? Really? Really? This, this is where things are leading now? I'm supposed to look at, uh, uh, basically, I'm supposed to look at the 1950s as some positive thing? You know, during McCarthyism? When in God we trust got put on the rest of our money? When under God got put in the pledge? When we had a massive paranoia of anything left-wing? And, 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 and that sort of shit is starting to, to show its way in uh, popular opinions again? And I'm not supposed to say anything about it? Well, I guess I'm becoming Steve Shives, right? Because I block some people that no matter how much I proof I give them and show them and give them links and about what, you know, Republicans are still doing, are, tr are trying to do, and how, and how negative Christianity can be towards the LGBT community and, and other communities and other people. I just... I'm terrified of if Trump gets elected. I'm terrified. We've already seen our society change quite a bit to where really bigoted viewpoints are no longer something that you kind of keep hush hush. It's now something let's just put it all out in the open. Let's just let's just put all that out on the open and and egg it on. And I'm seeing attitudes now that I can't even remember when I was little, like like you know, 1979 to 1984. I'm seeing attitudes I don't even remember seeing then. And I'm not supposed to say anything? Well, you know, the SJWs and the, the, the feminists and Islam, they're the biggest threat. Really? So, oh no, some people said some things at college. You know, even back when there, the, the hippie movement, you had protests at colleges where people said some stupid things. You know, look, look at Jane Fonda uh, posing with uh, the, uh, the bad guys in Vietnam. Look at uh, the people that would say, and, and there were group, lots of groups of people who would say things like, um, oh, uh, well, the, mil the military deserve everything they get. They're stupid for joining the military. Lots of fucked up attitudes. And eventually those things passed. And here we are with the, the whole SJW thing at colleges. They're saying some stupid shit. Um, has has this stuff, you know, at least here in the United States, has this stuff been making its way into laws? No. No, it hasn't. It's people saying stupid things. And that's supposed to be more of a threat to this country than these Republican religious zealot fucktards who want us to return to the 1950s? But, but the attitudes I'm seeing since Trump has shown that he has a chance of winning, I find terrifying. Terrifying, the, the, the attitudes. You know, we're like 15, 20% towards just like having like fascist attitudes about uh, just anyone that isn't a white, straight, cisgender male.
I'm supposed to welcome that shit with open arms? No. No. I'm supposed to welcome conversations that sound like it's part of the script from American History X? Uh, no! No! No. I'm not gonna welcome that. Hell no. But, you know, I guess I'm becoming like Steve Shives. Because I blocked some people. I guess I don't know what more to say. But I'm not very happy right now. I am worried for our future. You know, it seemed like we had progressed so far. And right now it's like watching... Everything that made me so proud to live in this country just kind of crumble away and fall apart. And I'm... I'm going to end the video before I start crying. <laughs>